Are Octane materials worth it or should you just make your own? In this video, I'm going to be reviewing Pixel Labs second pack of Octane materials, their architectural pack to find out is this a game changer or should you just save your money and make your own? I'm going to be breaking down the quality ease of use and the value for your money and i'm also going to do a couple of renders so you guys can see the results for yourself let's get straight into it hey if you're new here my name is patrick lavar i'm on this journey of learning blender octane and i'm sharing everything out that i'm learning if this is something you might be into consider hitting the subscribe button so pixel lab is known for making high quality materials right out of the box literally drag and drop so what do you get inside this pack includes 18 metal textures 10 glass textures, nine fabric textures, four ornamental textures, 27 material textures, 25 plastic textures, 21 wood textures, and all of these do also include their OBX file. So if you're using a different software, like maybe you're using Unreal or something like that, then you can use the Orbix file. So the first thing I like to do when I get a material pack is I like I want to see what they look like under different lighting conditions and especially once that light hits that reflection what kind of imperfections are built into these. These actually surprisingly have some really nice imperfections and there's also versions that are just clean if you don't want those and that's where these also are very powerful is their customability. Their cust custom custom a custom customability or they're customizable basically so if there is something that has a grunge map on it and you just don't like it you can just go into the shader and take that off so you do have full access to these materials which i again i stress is so important to really dial in your materials for your particular lighting and your particular scene so you know that still gets me to the question is this worth buying now if i was to compare these to something that i can make I'm gonna say, you know, yeah, you can make it, but this saves you time. And I've made materials before, and I've literally spent hours on tweaking this material, depending on how, how anal you are about your materials. Like it takes hours to dial in and get really nice materials. That's why we pay, we pay for things like this to save for time because we can't buy time, right? This is the closest way of buying time. So in the past week, I've been playing with these material packs and I've done a couple of renders and here are some of the results. So if you're somebody new here who uses cycles or you use a different render engine and you're kind of curious about how to use Octane, I do have a free 101 Blender Octane guide in my link description here. It walks you through how to get this thing downloaded, how to get it started. Or if you just want to go hardcore and dive straight in, I do have a Blender Octane community. Also a link will be down there below. So the big question is, is this worth your money? For beginners and anyone working on a tight deadline, I would say yes. Now, if you're somebody real, somebody who's really more anal and you know you like building out your materials and, and going through that whole process, this not my this may not be for you. But then I would even say there could be a couple of things you might be able to learn to add into your workflow of building materials. So it just depends on what it's worth to you. But as far as saving time, it's an absolute no brainer. And if you're still on the fence and you're just not sure if you want to commit to this, they do have a free pack of 12 that you can download and check them out for yourself and then make the decision after that. 